Morning, Senate community. Welcome to Thursday. It's Pastor Andy coming to you live from my office once again in Sion Lutheran Church, located in Lancaster, Minnesota. What a day it is shaping up to be. The weather's not too bad today. Uh, it's a little chilly, a little snowy outside on the ground, but we are back in business. But then of course, as soon as you think it's going to be a good day, you start writing down everything that you need to accomplish in a single day, and it becomes quite overwhelming, which is kind of where I am today. Deadlines and projects and information to be gathered, and it's the mad rush to the annual meeting. It's uh, Rachel Kurtz concert weekend. Tomorrow she's coming to town to sing some songs and have some fun with us. You're all invited. Uh, 7 o'clock at Grace Lutheran in Howlock. There's phone calls to be made. There's things to write. There's just stuff. And this is uh, one of the problems I have with, like, downtime. It's a real struggle with, like, vacations and resting and blizzard days and sick days and all of those things. It's like as soon as you take a break, all you can think about is what was left undone. So my list of things, it would have been helpful if I was in the office yesterday, not trapped by a blizzard to get some of this stuff done. But then the reality is if I would have gotten these things done yesterday, there would have been another list of things to do today. And that's the rub. The life is a continuous to-do list. There is it's a perpetual to-do list. You're never done doing things. And so I'm not sure what to do with that. I would like to be able to complete a to-do list and then just rest without having to think of 10 more things that are coming down the pipeline. But that's how life goes. That's that's how we do things. Like there's, we're never actually done. And so the challenge is then to find joy in the things we get to do. Um, Reframing it as a get to instead of a have to is kind of a positive mental attitude structure that may or may not help you. And it may or may not help me if I actually tried it. Um, and I think that's kind of where Jesus comes in, where Jesus knew all the things he had to do. Um, but then framing it, he got to save the world. He got to heal people. He got to teach people. He got to do a lot of things, even though really, in a sense, he had to. He had to do those things. That was his trajectory through life. But then framing it as get to. I get to love my neighbor. I get to experience the presence of God when I talk to the people I need to call I get to share the good news of Jesus Christ when I write the reports I have to for the annual meeting. I get to do a lot of things, all because God has positioned me in such a way that I'm allowed to do the work that God wants me to do. And so are you. You are placed in the spot you are to do the work God wants you to do in that space. You get to work for God. And I think that's pretty powerful when you think about it. Like we get to do these things. Yes, it's work. Yes, it's a drain. People are hard to deal with sometimes. But then at the end of the day, we get to love them because God loved us. And that's a beautiful thing. So let us pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for being with us in the times of have to instead of get to. We come to you this morning asking for the strength and courage and power to reframe our thinking about the things you have called us to do. We get to love our neighbor. We get to proclaim your good news. We get to walk with the lowly and the forgotten. Yes. Things aren't always as easy as we would hope, but you're still with us. 
you're still pushing us and walking beside us as we walk beside those we have come to meet. So encourage us, empower us, strengthen us and guide us into whatever you might have us do in this place and beyond. Be with us as we journey toward the weekend. May we find rest and strength and all the things that we need to keep on keeping on. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. So with that, beloveds, be blessed. You are blessed to be a blessing, and blessings are get to work. They're not have to work. You get to be a blessing to others. Keep that in mind as you travel through this day and into the next. Be well, stay warm, and I'll see you when I see you.